three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. It's 3-0 versus 2-1, and one, a good early season battle as we're underway in week four. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22 yard Here we go, here we go. So now here comes here the Eagles go. offense as they get ready to take over. As we get a peek at the number two overall pick from the 2016 draft, standing at six foot five, Carson Wentz. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Sure, and no touchdown pass. Yeah. And his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get him in? Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Quickly now, a look at the Eagles' offensive starters. And I think we'll see a renewed sense of urgency out of this team this week because they have to make sure they don't waste this home stand. They had a home game last week, lost it. Now they've got the second straight. They've got to take advantage of it, get a win before they head out on the road. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Working from the gun, Lance. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Chidabay Awuzie with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. Mike. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay up right, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stop the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can kill this throughout the game. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Eagles are here taking over first and 10. Watch the pass. <laughs> On the pickup there, it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They will run for the first time in Miles Sanders. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for first. The numbers for Sanders last week. 14 carries, 97 yards, and a touchdown. How about the first month of the season for him? He leads the league in rushing, so he knows confidence is at an all-time high, which means his offensive line loves it, too. They'll get more opportunities to run back for him. And he went nowhere. 
Roy went backwards, back to the 33. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Here's Wentz to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. That's complete to Sanders. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. One hallmark of good defenses, understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. You got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Now, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like that's calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you were not have the opportunity to keep the play. Uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out the first time. I'll try to do better here. Yeah, yeah. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 25 carries, 95 yards, and a score. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. He's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of their alignment. Could be a golden watch in their future if he becomes the leading rusher. A first down carry by Allen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. Those have got the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Yeah. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge.
certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Now on second and 13. Wentz caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's the Check, 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 check. Now Wentz on third down. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 38. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They stacked him up pretty well, but we try to run the football and something got better on game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And what we loved at the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football, it says finish on it, because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down. How big that is in this situation. They've had to punt it away twice. So the furious of going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up the first down and change our momentum? Sports. A three yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And an alley to run. It's a pickup of 12 and they'll set up a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, it really opens things up for you. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that. Right there, they get a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Philadelphia getting safe to take the field. And it's been very much a slow start for the three drives and just the three points seeded. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish.
Mercy's drives and end zones. Now the balls go through goal posts. That last catch short <laughs> by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. He's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Red one on first down. Sanders. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it's a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The Eagles on third down. Two for five at this point. This is third and ten. That's complete to a speedy wide out Goodwin. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. You know when to lean towards the defender, right? You know when to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him, as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That ball arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Eagles are in third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Throwing now is Wentz. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away. It brings up a fourth down decision. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will make it six to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach and the coordinator actually called in the, and called him in and said, look, you're our guy. Okay, we're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Let's go, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Prescott. And that's Elliott complete. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. 
They'll get just a couple, but the sticks move again. And Brandon, from our time in college football, the receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find some spots. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 49-yard line. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Let's go, D, let's go. Looking to throw, Preston. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, it's Preston. And the pressure, and he will go down. Sack at the 38. Trevor Williams was shot out of the cannon there on the corner blitz. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang of Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of a long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Here's the Philadelphia Three. offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that world. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down. And try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him with his third and one. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. There. They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just like an absolute confusion. And he fires one that's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Throw an opening, and there he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Six defensive backs, did he need to be more careful throwing the football? I mean, I guess obviously hindsight he did, but. Yeah, hindsight, but even in foresight, when you got six defensive backs on the field, you just know you're going to get multiple coverages. You're never sure what you're going to see. But the biggest one is you don't have much reaction time for your receivers to go get the football because those guys, they're the best cover guys on the field. They go get it. And on that play, they took it the other way for six points. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that one will give him the lead here as we approach halftime. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Up, and you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Now, yeah, right now, under 100 yards, that's the offense. Wins. Fighting a 
safety valve here. That's complete. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll make it second down. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Three down, three down. Here we go, here we go. The 20. What's tight? Tight is right. What's tight? Tight is right. Now, once again, going to go to Clement here out of the backfield. Now, the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wentz now on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right to the yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Come on, QB, come on. Watch on play. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 53. And Elliott puts this one through. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Cowboys are able to recover. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and then the right approach in going after it. Also may signal the they have the superior team. If they can try these sorts of things, and it will come to hurt them later. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And it's the Rams who are out in front in that one. Cooper Cup, a touchdown reception. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And that game all tied up with the visiting L.A. Chargers. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Packers. A touchdown pass there for Andrew Luck. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasize. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Ronnie McLeod. And they will finally bring this run back to an end. Before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? 
So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the... And he's in! Touchdown! The Eagles! Miles Sanders, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles take advantage of good field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word three field goals that they put on the board previously, they finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. Watch one, watch one. Wentz going to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he had handy, he'd be playing on offense. Well, that's true. You've said that before. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see when they decide to do a play call. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pin. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Sent to take the field. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. On first and 10, it's Clement. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That second down play nets a minus four. Time to give him credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. You credit him your defense. Got to credit him on that one because they tried to fool him. They tried to trick him. Ran a screen, and they went. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. <laughs> He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's what we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time to lean on that leadership. You know, despite the scoreline, I don't think they don't like where they are here. I don't think they're going just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. The question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue. And he's going to be intercepted at some time. Picked up by Will Parts. And a snapshot in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at 
a situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. On first down, it's Sanders. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Well, that's one got three. Now here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Blitz now to Rush coming, and he's taken down. Clinton Dix making the safety blitz look easy. Zooms in for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe the defender gets a hand in the way that pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a new point there is they were able to connect. Both sides were holding their breath there on that third down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try to keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys let's found go. a way to pick Three. it up. Lefty, lefty. Let's go, let's go. On first and ten, here's Wins. It's caught by Sanders. Give him six on the play, and it's a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your right, get them out in the flat, and let them have a chance to make people miss an open field. And he is going to be stopped cold you behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Get ready, get ready, get ready. With that. From the gun on third down, Williams. This is caught. And it is into the end zone. Touchdown. Nice move. Alshon Jeffrey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is up to 15 now. So they will on a seven-play drive all told. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard Here we go, line. here we go, here we go. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. And one told me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And he finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get Shall calm and reassert themselves Face here. Mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face oh, man, first down. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Prescott looks to try on first. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. But it'll be second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There was a hole open in the zone. You have to think on Number early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Right, yeah, set, fortunately set, for him, set, he's got a couple three. more downs to play with. On second down, Elliott. Well, they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. It's just me. Prescott from the gun on third. And he's got 
his man on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Yeah, it'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Prescott now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. That one complete to Elliott. Seven yards on the play. And they'll bring up second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Here's Prescott. Let's get off the field. Got his man there to complete to Gallup. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. It appears that they're red man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside. That ball delivered with good timing. He's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the set. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And he's going to go down again. The amount of sacks that they absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They'll need a big play here will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And that fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there was a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There was nothing available there for him. So he was struggling a bit, misses a couple, and he bangs a really long one through. And Brandon, doesn't it just figure? He'd had a few misses, as you noted, but his coach had confidence to run him back out there and let him bomb away from long distance. And this time, he puts it through. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great attack going. Will they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting back to their own territory, why would you change anything? They're going to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he held on to it, but he probably shouldn't have as they get him behind the line. Throwing on second and 14. Wentz, and he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Demarcus Lawrence able to put it into that play, and in so doing, puts an end to this third quarter. So Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Shotgun now for Wentz. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Demarcus Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback.
Here's Matt Wild now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at the 15. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they have three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him because he's helped them out. And yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch round. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine, and he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. The 40, past the 20, touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup, 78 yards, as his guys are back within a single score. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Zerline now for the PAT. And this is back to a five-point game. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. This will be fielded at the eight. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone left to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. The bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now Sanders. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. Wants to throw on third and one. This is caught by Jackson. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs. Now they get the Again, defensively a backbreaker. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. On second down there. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He lost two there. And it's third down. The pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yards about to develop. And that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Prescott from the gun. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. 
Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now Prescott, and that's Elliott, complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and get rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Now Prescott. This is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Come on, baby, let's go. Deep nine, deep very deep nice deep. pick up of 33 First yards. Down. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives him the lead, and it took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. There it is, partner. You see it. Four <laughs> fingers. What does that mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarter's here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, but we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they're taking the lead. The second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And second down and four. Reds caught by the tight end Ertz. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a game of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Get ready, get Ten ready. yards there get ready. and an eagle first down. Well, they really needed to get something done, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Providing a nice pick up there to keep this drive going. Wentz's throw taken in by Sanders. Call it a one-yard gain of the play. And it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. If you're on offense, be aware of ball making. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. He's at the 40. 20. 10. And he will score. Touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Pushing the foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, the players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Got to be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here We've got about the 17-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line.
From the gun, it's Williams. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Darryl Orland. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. Elliott on first down going absolutely nowhere. So he'll lose about three on the play. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Even though we're not on the goal line, this is essentially a goal line look as they come up for second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. A 20 of carry here for Elliott. Three yards on the pick up there, but they've only got it back to third and ten. And now right out of the two-minute break, we're going to time out used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. They go rally it again. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown high would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But they still ate up time, got points. So that's not mission accomplished. Let's go, close. So now Wentz and the Eagles. Down by 13, a minute 44 to go. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and that'll bring up second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Darian Thompson, and he's able to bring it out five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report change and the show him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. On second down. It's Elliott, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be a third and about 13. Defense wins championships, baby. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming. Double up. Charles, in this one, I think the street line, really, the fourth quarter. Coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck, I'm going to stay with a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Go. Yes, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So for the Cowboys, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in Week 6. And for Charles Davis,